I almost dropped my plate. I would have been hurt and sad because I didn't spend so much time making these chicken wings. Mmm. And this pizza. Mmm. <laughs> and this salad. Mmm. Just look. I'm gonna move the fork because it's obstructing the view. Look at that. Mmm. -hmm. Keto wings. Keto pizza. Or is that salad? <laughs> and I know you want some because I see how you're looking at my plate. But you can have none. This is mine. Because I just cooked all this and I'm about to eat it and enjoy it. But I guess I will share the recipe with you guys. Coming up next. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yum yum. Smoochies. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. chicken from King. Fabulous, too fabulous. I'm saving lives while saving mine. Smooches. Okay, I'm getting ready to do some hot wings. And I've already cut my hot wings up. I don't like big chicken. See, that's a little tiny wing, and I've already cut the sections up. Now I'm getting ready to season. Now, if you know me, you know I don't like to use a lot of salt. So the salt I'm going to use is some salt that I got out of Dollar General, which is, um, can't see that, which is some Himalayan pink salt. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. And because, mind you, the reason I'm not going to use a lot of salt is because I have high blood pressure. So, hey, you got to do what you got to do to get what, what get rid of what you have. And if salt is one of the culprits, then you got to do what you got to do. Now I'm going to use some garlic powder, not garlic salt. And I'm heavy handed with the garlic powder. I cannot help it. I love garlic. And so, I, like I said, I'm just going to be a little heavy handed with that. And, you know, you can use any kind of garlic powder that you want to use. That's up to you. And, and the same thing goes for the salt. Now I'm going to put a little black pepper on it. And we're just going to, um, then I'm going to put some Italian seasoning on it, which is the Great Value brand. And I'm just going to give this a good mix and stir it up really good. Seasoning smells so amazing. They smell very amazing. Now, so I got those already coated with my seasonings. And the reason I'm not putting extra seasoning on it because I'm going to have a season. I'm going to make a seasoned um, sauce to go on it. Mmm, it is really great. So that's why I'm not putting too much um too much of it on the chicken right now. Okay, now some of these I'm going to pop into my air fryer. I have never used my air fryer for um, chicken before. So that's why I'm only gonna just pop a couple of them in there to see how it does. And what I did was I drizzled a little olive oil on it. And I'm going to see how that works. But the rest of them, I am going to pop them in the oven. I have my oven preheating. Um, it's set for 425. I'm going to put them in the oven because these are going to be oven baked hot wings because I'm trying not to use any oils to fry them with or anything like that. So, and but you know, olive oil is a healthy oil, so that's why I could you do that. And spread on my tray, as you can tell, I have them on a double tray. I have one sheet that has holes in them because I want a nice little air to get under. Maybe that'll make them crispy. Maybe not. There's, if you saw that little glitch on the side, that's my hair. My hair, for some reason, loves to eat. Every time I start eating, it shows up. But anyway, I'll get back with you when they come out the oven. Look at uh, there. 
look this is my um wings that i put in the uh, air fryer and i put a little olive oil on them look how beautiful they look oh i ooh, i'm getting excited oh child oh crispy i love a crispy wing so you know what i'm about to do oh good okay, good okay. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I wish I could have some. Oh, yes. And then can you imagine? Because I, <clears throat> I cooked them in the air fryer for about 25 minutes. And I put the other ones in the oven. I am about to take the ones out the oven and put them in my air fryer. Because these are so del... I know. Oh, I didn't mean to show y'all that. It's so delicious. And then the next one makes it sauce. <laughs> okay, it's hot, okay? I couldn't wait. See that steam? Oh, you probably can't see the steam. But yes, baby. Okay, so I'm going to empty these out. I'm not going to eat them all. I'm going to empty them out because, and I'm going to get the ones out the oven and put them in the air fryer. So they can cook crispy like that. Mm, yeah. Awesome. Amazing. I just had to share that with y'all. I'm sorry about the smacking. Mm -mm. All right. I'm getting ready to make the sauce for these wings. Look at those wings. All they need is just a little coating. Yum, yum, yum. And what I am doing is I right now I am melting... Um, a stick and a half of butter, and I I tried a different kind of butter. Um, this is like uh, let me see, can y'all see it? Let me get it on there right, go the right way. Okay, this is country clock, country clock. Lord have mercy, country crock plant butter, and it's made with avocado oil. So I'm trying this kind. I've never done this sauce with that, but I'm trying this kind this time because I was curious about it, and so I got it. And so I'm using a stick and a half of this. And I'm using over a little of a cup of Frank's Red Hot Original Cayenne Peppers Hot Sauce. Hot sauce. I don't like hot sauce. I don't like hot stuff, not for real. So, I've tried this recipe before and it wasn't that hot. So, and then, um, you know, I'm using a pack of ranch mix. Um, this is just the off brand. This is the Piggly Wiggly brand ranch dip mix. I don't know if y'all have a Piggly Wiggly around you, but we do. <laughs> but anyway, I'm using that. You can use your Hidden Valley Ranch or whatever. This was 30 cents, okay, for the pack. So, hey, we going there. And anyway, and I like to use that, but I'm not going to put that in there until my butter has melted and the, the um, hot sauce is it's all mixed together. We were in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and, and by we, I mean the women's group at our church, Cornerstone of Life Church, and we were at, I cannot remember the name of this restaurant, but they had the bum diggitest wings. Those wings were so good. We was like, what do y'all do? How do y'all make these wings? Because you can really see the butter <laughs> running out of the sauce. And so they was like, hey, butter, hot sauce, and ranch, dry ranch. We was like, what? And so when she told me, I could not wait to get back home. And one of the other ladies beat me to it. They said, like, ooh, I made some wings. Oh, I made some wings. And they were so good. And I was like, ah. Oh. And then I started salivating at the mouth because I didn't get none. And they kept talking about it and like how good they was. I don't want to hear how good they was. Show me the money. Show me how good they are. So now I'm going to make some. Like I said, I have made this before. I made it like two or three times. My sister has been down here. My niece, for her greedy self, she's been down here. Oh, ain't Kim. Oh, I got half some. Oh, oh, these are so good. Smack it. Yes, and I had to kick them out the house because I'm like, dang, I ain't got no more, more weeds left between you and my husband and the two of y'all. Oh, no. Y'all to eat, eat somebody out of the house and a home. I'm trying to lose weight and be great. <laughs> But anyway, so this is melting. We're going to let that butter just melt a little bit more. 
And, and you know, like the first time I tried it, it was amazing. And then on top of that, I made my own ranch dressing, which I'm going to make. I just can't make it right now. Why can't I make it right now? Because my silly behind went to the store and forgot the whipping cream. <sighs> yes. I got the mail, I got the sour cream, I got the other ranch pack, and no whipping cream. Imagine that. But anyway, you know, hey, that's another day, because I have to go to the store anyway. I mean, I just like how I just keep rhyming and don't be trying to. Well, that's pretty much melted enough, so I'm going to go ahead and put this pack in here. And I don't like to pour the whole pack in there, because I like to test it first. I'll do like half the pack and then because I don't want it to be too salty because I don't do salt all I do is this all I do is this but anyway and then I like to taste it because the last time I made it like that was like October November I think I did it in October and November and I can't remember if I wound up using the whole pack or not but I know one thing I'm going to put in here is some freeze-dried chives. And I'll put those in there. And that's it for that bottle. Just some freeze-dried chives. Nothing special about it. And I'm going to put those in there. Whoa, I'm about to break something. And I saved my uh, hot sauce bottle so I can put the remainder of this sauce in there. Because I don't use all of it on the wings not that, you know, if I was doing a whole bag of wings, yeah. But I froze half, seasoned them and froze them. And I cooked these. And let's see. So I'll see how that tastes. <coughs> so I don't do hot sauce. It's, it's all right if I use a little bit more. So I might as well use the whole pack. But it's good. Hey, it's really good. Because I changed the butter. And so, due to the fact that that is like that, it's really good. And you only want to cook this until all of it mixes together. So, nothing special. Nothing like... And the reason that this is a good keto mix is because of the simple fact that it doesn't have all the honeys. You know, sometimes people will put honey in it, which is going to drive your carb level up. I don't believe anything that I used had any carbs in it because the ranch seasoning said it had less than one carb. The butter has, let's see, no carbs. And the sauce has, child, I can't see this one right. It has no carbs. So nothing in it has any carbs. What is going to add the carbs is sometimes. People add their own like um, honey and different sweeteners and different things like that. So I can turn this off. And what I'm going to do is we're going to get my handy dandy little bowl. And I'm going to put these chicken wings in there. And I'm not going to, we are going to put them in there a little faster than that. Mmm, and you know, with me putting them up on this tray like this, which I haven't done before, it came out crispy, which is good. Hey, no meat left behind, girl. And so, now I'm going to pour some of this sauce on there. Let me bring it so you can see it. Pour some of the sauce. Mmm. I'll probably put half of it. And then give them a good toss. And see how I didn't need to use all that sauce anyway? So I'll just use my funnel and put it in the uh, back in the bottle. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put them on my baking sheet. Y'all don't talk about my baking sheet. I use it a lot. I'm going to put them on my baking sheet. Let the rest of that, get the rest of that sauce out of there. Because as Stove Top Kisses would say, girl, this could be sopped up. But I ain't going to steal her line, but go watch her and she's hilarious. And I'm going to put these in the oven 
for just a few minutes. Look how great they look. Like I said, don't look at my pan. And I know. I'm going to put them in there for a few more minutes so that that way they can, um, it can, the sauce can thicken up on it and stick it to it. And I'm about to, I've taken them out the oven. See how the sauce is thickening on them a little bit. And <clears throat> the main event is about to occur. I'm about to munch and crunch. I did a spinach salad. Use some of the same things that's on top of the, um, on top of the pizza on the salad, spinach salad. Added my little three wings in there. Baby, you know I'm going to eat more than three wings. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Because you like food. Just as much as I do. Because all we do is eat. All we do is eat. <laughs> well, alright then. I'll see you later, Flap this Fabs. Smooches! <laughs>